Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today on Thursday, March the 24th, 2022. Guys, I'll tell you what, these weeks are flying. It seems like yesterday I just said, praise God, tomorrow's Friday. And guess what? Praise God, tomorrow's Friday again. Hallelujah. Anyway, thank you for joining me today as we continue to go through this devotion. Uh, by now, guys, if you've been following me, you've been listening, it doesn't matter what book, it really doesn't. But just to, to give credit to the, the people that put this together, it's, uh, it's Stand Strong, 365 Devotions for Men by Men, Out of Our Daily Bread. I, you guys, I thank you. Praise God. Here's some of you saying it right now. Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Man is male and female. So ladies, this is equally for you because it is the word of God and that's beneficial for everybody's growth. That's 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Check it out. Don't just take my word for it, please. Um, anyway, today's, oh, that's a good title. This is something, all right. Today's title is Wisdom's Call. And our study verses today, guys, please, you know, I'm not, you know, I think I, by now I should quit saying, please, by now you guys, you're, you're grown. You can make your own choices, your own decisions. If you want to stay where you're at in life, don't, I wouldn't even worry about reading scripture. Just, just walk through day by day life, just the way it is. Just be content. But God is calling for way more than that. And the only way you're going to find out what God's got for you is to get, spend time with him. And we do that by getting in his word. The only truth that's out there, the only thing that's worth hearing reading, listening to, trust me, the news, the media, it's poison. It's poison, period. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll go off on hours on that. But anyway, our study verses, guys, Proverbs 8, 10 through 21, talks a lot about wisdom. And our lead-off verse is Proverbs 8, verse 11. And the Word of God says, Wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Now, guys, you take this back to Old Testament. Rubies back then, you had something. But if you had wisdom, it, it, it didn't even compare to rubies. Rubies could just, you throw them in the trash. Anyway, our devotional today is written by David McCaslin. I think we've heard from him before. And he goes on to say, Noted British journalist Malcolm Muggeridge came to faith in Christ at age 60. Okay, at age 60, folks. On his 75th birthday, he offered 25 insightful observations about life. One said, I never met a rich man who was happy. Who yeah. But I have only very occasionally met a poor man who did not want to become a rich man. He's, that's, yeah, okay, I get it. I never met a rich man who was happy and only occasionally met a poor man who did not want to be rich. Most of us would agree, agree that money can't make us happy, but we might like to have more so we can be sure. <laughs> Everybody agree with that right now, I bet you. Anyway, King Solomon's net worth was an estimated two trillion U.S. dollars, but he knew money had great limitations. Proverbs 8 is based on his experience and offers wisdom's call to us. He said, choose my instruction instead of silver, knowledge rather than choice gold, for wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare to her. Wisdom says, my fruit is better than fine gold. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me and making their treasures full. These are true riches indeed. This is a personal one for me today, guys, because I've been praying and meditating on wisdom and reading scriptures on that. There is so much in the Bible, the Word of God, about wisdom. And you go back, just go back and read up on King Solomon. I mean, could you imagine having, uh, what did it say, $2 trillion? $2 trillion? Whew, that, that's amazing. And, and you know, he, he prayed for, King Solomon, all he prayed for, he asked for wisdom. He asked, he seeked for wisdom, and that's how God blessed him. Because he understood that wisdom was far more precious than gold and jewelry. But God knew what King Solomon was going to do, so he was blessed. Guys, again, don't take my word for it. Find these stories out in yourself. Not stories, it's truth. Find them out and read on them yourself. Grow and learn. But, uh, yeah, wisdom, uh, I don't know it off the top of my head, but I know it's in the Word of God. There's a scripture, there's a verse that says... That I, wisdom, was with God in the beginning. 
So, you know, you go back in Genesis where God says, let's make man in our image. I, I truly believe theologians are going to debate and argue this with me. Some people will agree, some will disagree. I don't really care. I'm not here to impress man. I'm just here to serve my Lord. Um, I truly believe that wisdom was right there with God, and you know He was—that's what He meant. Wisdom was in there in the beginning. It's uh, it's biblically it could be biblically backed up. I don't think it could be biblically rebuked. Anyway, so wisdom's call, guys. Um, just Google that. What does the Bible say about wisdom? And look at all the verses that come up. There's way more than just Proverbs eight. There's a ton in there. So you know, for me personally, I've been asking God for wisdom, seek wisdom, and you know. I was talking with my brother Dave the other night. You understand, if you had wisdom, what else would you need? Think about it just for a minute. Just ponder on that. If you had true wisdom, the wisdom of God, everything else is just going to fall into place. Everything else is going to make sense. You're going to understand how to deal with things, how to how to cope cope with things, how to take, manage what you have, how to, you know, just wisdom is so powerful, guys. So this was a good one today. Again, the study scriptures are very vital to these devotionals. But do what you will with them. I, I can't hold your hands no more. I can't can't lead you. I can just only encourage you. If you want if you want your life to change, you want it to be better than what it is, don't settle for content, man. Get the word of God in you. So until tomorrow, Friday, hallelujah. Guys, thank you for joining me. God bless you all, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Goodbye.